You probably heard about brain-eating amoeba cases that resulted in death and the threats posed by brain-eating amoebas. These microscopic organisms might seem insignificant, but they wield a grave danger. Brain-eating amoebas, particularly Neglaria, Foleri, tiny single-celled organisms found primarily in warm freshwater environments. These amoebas thrive in temperatures above 25C77F, commonly inhabiting lakes, rivers, and hot springs, particularly in regions with warmer climates. These amoebas pose a risk when contaminated water enters the body through the nose. Activities such as swimming, diving, or using devices like neti pots with unsterilized water can introduce the amoeba into the body. Once inside, it migrates along the olfactory nerve, making its way to the brain, leading to a rare but deadly condition known as primary amoebic meningoencephalists PAM. Those most susceptible to brain-eating amoebas are individuals. Engaging in activities in warm freshwater settings, particularly children and young adults. The impact of PAM is swift and severe, progressing rapidly from flu, like symptoms to neurological disturbances within days. Initial symptoms resembling bacterial meningitis, such as headaches, fever, nausea, and vomiting, should prompt immediate medical attention. As the condition advances, seizures hallucinations and coma may manifest, necessitating urgent intervention. Survival rates for PAM are low, with only a handful of cases surviving worldwide. Delaying medical attention significantly reduces the chances of survival, often resulting in the death of the individual affected. Preventing infection involves minimizing exposure to warm freshwater environments where the amoeba thrives. Strategies such as nose clips while swimming or keeping the head above water can significantly reduce the risk. Additionally, using sterile or boiled water for nasal irrigation or similar practices is crucial. Understanding the risks associated with brain-eating amoebas and seeking prompt medical attention is paramount.